Okay. Hello. This is another installation of live development of Formicarium Dwarf Fortress meets Simmerand. And we are very happy because uh, finally the ants are starting to grow, grow little babies. So to order to test this, I'll just uh, dig some little rooms for them to store things in. Um, let's speed up the time a little bit. And we should soon see some development here. First of all, yeah, they dig the tunnels. Now I will tell them to, uh, and please pay attention, as soon as I stop putting the stockpile here, they are all scurrying over and uh, are picking up all the objects that they have so far found. Also from the top surface, maybe I can sc slow down again. So some of them are sleeping too, but you can see that like now from the top here, they're really busy picking up everything and uh, bringing it down to the bottom. That was already here last week. So this is, uh, you already know from the dev update number two. But now what's new is that I can put this, uh, this is a called a nursery, the new building I just built. And now I can tell my queen to lay some eggs. Now as you see here, the Little ants are currently. Let's make a full screen try. They are trying to. Yeah. There's not a lot of, a lot of stuff getting leftovers. The uh, these soldiers here are eating too much. Let's kill the soldier. That will be a central part of the later app that you can uh, kill. Um, that you will be able to kill your own guys. And maybe it really makes sense right now because otherwise they will just end up eating the stuff from the babies. Because I want to show you how babies are born. Ah, it, now you didn't see it. Huh. Again. There we go. More babies. And here you can see how the aunt just gave a, like the, that, that head of the, of the soldier to the little, um, to the little uh, larvae here. And now the larvae is slowly eating this. Also, the other aunt just got a beetle egg, and they're very busy bringing food to the to the babies to the to the larvae. It's a little bit. The larvae are a little bit like uh, low resolution because they are scaled a lot. I have to tell my de my designer to um, make a larger version. This is not working this way. Actually, I should probably do this right now. The first thing that she should do. We use a Trello for this. This is very nice. The Trello board. It's very simple to pick up. A, put on the Hello, watcher one, whoever you are. Um, let's see. On lava to small. Image needs to be same size as. Uh, okay. We might have had a crash in the background. That's not very nice. Uh, yes, this is a common crash. I had this a few times now. Maybe I should uh, try it a little bit different for testing purposes. Mm. But it's uh, always the same crash, so that's good. It seems to be only one issue connected to uh, when they repeatedly uh, let stuff fall and pick it up again. Some job seems to be stuck, sticking around, so I'm going to fix it. Fix it soon. So now you can see here, this is the game of the day, and this is the exit of the ant hive, and they're all work, walking around that, oh, like look at them, they're all bringing um, beetle eggs and beetle pupae and things down into their uh, hive to eat it. I just put a, like, um, programming wise, I put just a small storage area in this, in this tunnel down here. It's not a nice position, but uh, for now it's enough. That's why they all go over there, like there's a big queue of ants walking over there. Um, let's tell the queen to lay some eggs. There's also a, a small nursery in the corner here. I just have to note this down, actually I should really fix this issue. Fix, delete, 
from a short crash. I was not concerned about this crash because it's contained and I have more urgent things to worry about right now. But at some point I probably have to do this. Go on properly. Something I should do tomorrow. Let's see, so uh, you just saw while I was writing, you just saw the ants uh, put the X over into the corner and uh, maybe we can speed the time up a little bit. Ah, you can see now the, the egg is here, the larvae is hatching and we see the little larvae sitting around and now the ants are bringing the larvae food. So it's very slow, slow. I mean they know who is like supposed to be fed and this larvae they eat the food now. The position of the mouth is still not correct, that's because the larvae is uh, right, so right. not rotated properly again. Uh, my, develop my designer is a super nice person but sometimes with these things she does not understand why all the creatures have to be in the same direction and why they can't. She, she would very much like to paint uh, creatures in different directions. Um, so that's because the point that they in the game are rotated hasn't reached so far yet. Anyways, let's see. So these are growing and growing. You can also you can also check how the growing is going. So currently, uh, yeah, we are missing some images here. That's why there's a cross. But in general, there's some proteins. So as long as the ant has, uh, as the larvae has proteins and carbons, it's uh, carbohydrates. It's going fine. Hello, uh, watcher number two, whoever you are. Um, yes. So Formicarium is an app we currently develop, uh, which uh, is currently on Kickstarter. If you like to support us or, or uh, tweet about us, if you like what you see, um, go ahead. The uh, point here of this video is to show the growing of the babies of the ants. Um, but it looks to be fine. So they now bring the aunt babies a lot of food all the time. So always like the ones that come down here in this tunnel, they, they bring it to the storage over on the left. And then over on the top right there's the ants. And now yes, now one of the ants has like spun a sort of pupae around itself and has uh, pupated. it. Like, you know, it's like a cocoon where they, where they go in and then they change their bodies from the larva to the final ant. This other one still needs a little bit of food. I think actually the other one is eating really fast. Like it's always out of... Oh, why is the beetle on it? So a beetle walk... Ah! Oh, you bitch! The beetle ate the pupae! Of course they do this. Of course pupae are edible if they're by evil and I have not no code yet so that ants are killing beetles that run into the hive. But now he totally killed our, our pupae that we wanted to watch. That was mean of him. But I mean it's nice that the pathfinding algorithms work so that the beetle randomly walked down here and was like oh there's some nice pupae to eat like I'm gonna eat some ant pupae and uh, I, uh, we will set up some sense system, uh, this is not completely implemented yet, where, ants, where you can set up like checkpoints and ants can, uh, will check on these checkpoints whether um, animals are allowed to walk there and if an insect that is not uh, smelling like ant walks through the checkpoint, I will totally kill them, or the ants will totally kill them. I think it's currently a little bit slow, but it's not because of the program, it's usually running fast, but I think the fact of... Uh, this retina display with 2088 uh, times 1440 pixels and the OBS recording which is yeah the OBS that switch recording program uses 200% of my, my CPU power in any case um, yeah you see like the big one is uh, growing and there's a few small ones it's a they're a little bit crowded over on this corner maybe I can make the corner bigger Tell the ants to dig a little bit of a hole here. Yes, so I don't know. So let's make the. Oh, this was the wrong one, this I don't need. So this is a problem. Now the crash could happen because the crash only happens when I change my zonings. Let's see how long it's continuing. I hope not. I hope it's fine. But, um, and I don't have. I can't really uh, debug live on Twitch. I need to like concentrate, and I can't really talk about it while I'm doing this because I need to write my 
you know, uh, unfortunately, it's not this game is not running slow. It's just that, if, uh, however, whichever game I'm playing on this computer and I'm t at the same time running the streaming, uh, it will be super slow. So I think now just now some uh, beetle or other guy. Sometimes I need to. So I need to fix. I need to tell the other ants that they're not supposed to. Not supposed to eat uh, the larvae material. And I think I did. No, it's really 